Now to another issue that's dominating the headlines this week, and that is infidelity. Jesse James cheating on his Oscar-winning wife, Sandra Bullock. Allegations that film director Sam Mendes cheated on his Oscar-winning spouse, Kate Winslet. And Tiger Woods, of course, has become the poster child of infidelity. The championship celebrity golfer is planning to take part in a new round of reporter interviews before the Masters. Duke Castiglione has more. I was living a, a life of a lie. I really was, and I was doing a lot of things, as I said, that hurt a lot of people. And stripping away denial and rationalization, you start coming to the truth of who you really are. And that can be very ugly, but then again, when you face it, and you start conquering it, and you start living up to it, um, the strength that I feel now, I've never felt that type of strength. Tiger also asked what his lowest point has been since he wrecked his car on that late November night. I mean, there were so many different low points. Um, people I had to talk and face, like, like my wife, like my mom. When asked what exactly he was in treatment for, Tiger was very vague, saying it's a private matter. When asked what treatment was like, his answer much different. It was tough. It was really tough to, to look at yourself in a light that you never want to look at yourself. Um, that's pretty brutal. And how does he think fans will react to him when he actually starts playing again at the Masters, which starts on April 8th? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm a little nervous about that, and to be honest with you, that's... How much uh, do you care? Hey, it would be nice to, to hear a couple claps here and there. Um, but I also hope there are also claps for birdies, too. <laughs> well, joining me now is Ruth Houston. She's an infidelity expert for Examiner.com. Jonathan Alpert is a fight psychotherapist and advice columnist for Metro Newspaper. And Alisa Bowman is the creator of the Happily Ever After Project .com. Hi, guys. Thanks a lot for coming in. Uh, what was your reaction to Tiger Woods' interviews and what he said uh, there in that tape? Do you uh, is he sorry for what he's done? Is he seem to be on the path to recovery? He is sorry for what he's done. We hear so much about cheaters, and certainly he had an extraordinary number of mistresses, and that's not uncommon for a cheater to cheat multiple times. He was a little over times? That. No, that, that number was uncommon, but okay. it's not uncommon. 25% of uh, men who cheat tend to have more than one affair, not all together. Right. Sometimes it's one after the other, but we hear the expression, once a cheater, always a cheater. That's not necessarily true. Well, cheaters let's not hope become so. let's hope so repeaters for the when they don't suffer any negative consequences as a result of their infidelity. Right. Look at what he suffered. He will probably never cheat again. Jonathan, you and I both had a reaction to him saying, I would kind of like to hear some applause. What's well, I, I think this shows that Tiger is still uh, experiencing this issue of entitlement. He still feels a bit of entitlement. Uh, he knows what he's done has wreaked havoc on his career, yet he still wants an applause. Um, can his marriage, can the marriage of um, David Duchovny and his wife, for example, uh, they've been through uh, some therapy themselves, Sandra Bullock and her husband, Dusty James, can those marriages be saved? Well, that's up to the wife who has to build trust. Um, can she, I, you know, 17 times is a lot. But I hear from readers all the time at projecthappilyeverafter.com that who, they do get past this, they do do it, but is it easy? No. And some of these people, they've only been cheated on once, not with multiple, multiple, multiple people. So <laughs> it's a huge thing that he's asking her to try to get past. Yeah. Why are these men so careless? The text messages, the voicemails, <laughs> the emails, I just don't get it. They're not thinking. And that's the whole key. They are not thinking because if they but were they do thinking spend a lot of, of time the planning for these affairs, so they're thinking about something. Well, they're thinking they're not the thinking about the consequences. Body. Yeah, they're thinking with the wrong head. <laughs> 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 but they're not thinking about the consequences. That's what they're not thinking about because if they did, they wouldn't do it. You see, they feel that they're above anything. They're, that's not what they're thinking about. They are. What happens is they let their desire for sex overrule their common sense. And, and that's the compulsion. These people are, uh, d their behavior is directed at achieving the goal of sex. It's fulfilling that fantasy, that drive at all costs. They absolutely do not think of their wife at home. Elisa, do you believe in the concept of, of a sex addiction, or is that just an excuse for bad behavior? Well, it may be a clinical thing, but in the end, your marriage is still trashed afterwards. So it, if you're going to blame it on a sex addiction, you're going to blame it on your mommy, you're going to blame it on all these other things, it doesn't matter. You still cheated, your wife still doesn't trust you, your marriage is still destroyed. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the number one thing you do, just briefly, uh, to try to get a marriage back on track? Lots of therapy. And before that happens, there has to be a full commitment to work out the problems. 
if both partners aren't on, aren't on board, it's not happening. All right. Well, coming Sever up next. All ties. <laughs> oh, Sever ties. Sever all ties. Can't be friends. The, no, no uh -uh. friends. It uh -uh. doesn't work. You can't heal the marriage while you're still trying to have one foot in the door of the affair. Yeah, that's a good piece of advice. Well, we have more on this in just a minute because it is a twist on this story that everyone is talking about. Coming up, how your son's nanny could put him on the path of infidelity. That's coming up next when we continue.